Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be learning more about strings and more specifically input and how to take for all intensive purposes infinite input. So alright, if we remember input its default is a string. So that's going to be handy. We're not going to change this, but we are going to learn more about what we can do with strings. So, all right, let's say we want somebody to enter name. And to remind you, I put that space there, and it's going to give me this space just for readability. So, Sam. So then here I go. But let's say I want to take in a list of names. So let's see how in the world we would do that. So we'd have to think about how we'd split it up. So let's look over here for a second. What we can do with input. We can take in things as many as we want, but let's see what we can do with strings. Anybody remember how to find out about strings? Do our help function. And here's everything, here's everything to read. But remember what dir does? Gonna give you a list. So all right. We're going to learn about split and strip. So, all right. So, what does split do? All right, so it's a method and it can chop things up. And here, and th th this is important. This is important. Return because we're going to use strip. We're going to see what it does. So, all right. If we don't, let's just go ahead and get started here. All right. So, if I can type enter names. And we can just put this right at the end. So, all right. Let's run this. So we got Sam, Bob, Pete, Tom. So, okay. So where does it say? list so it says it's going to return me a list return a list of words in a string using using set as here's what we're going to learn about these go together delimiter how it splits it up so all right so now now we have to plan that's if people will type this right and leave spaces. So we have to be prepared for people not to do that. And anyway, this is still all chopped up here. So this really isn't this isn't really that handy. So let's say we want to have this all all nice and neat. And so I can go through and have this be as many as I want because I'm going to show you the best practice. So, all right, who remembers list comprehension? So, okay, now, now let's, let's run this again and let's say we want to split this. So we're going to tell the person, let's say enter name, separate with Okay, is 
that fit on the screen. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. Okay, so let's run this again. So let's go here. Uh, Sam, Tom, Bob, Pete. So, okay. I, st I get this. So, but now let's say this person isn't going to be paying attention. And now that's with a perfect user. Now let's say the guy starts putting in spaces. Let's see what happens. Then Bob, then Pete, and Pete accidentally puts another space. Then who's left? Tom, right? Okay, so now, all right, so I got a space here, and I got a space here, I got a space here, and a space here. So now, we need to figure out a way to go through here and fix this. So, all right, let's slide this over so we can see, because we're going to have to add this. So, all right, who remembers list comprehension? So we're going to, oops, so, all right, who remembers list comprehension? Let's do this another way. separate this with our comma still but there's a little step here that we're gonna do so all right let's see this should run exactly the same if I don't forget something and I forgot a comma it didn't close that out there we go you probably saw that and I didn't so okay so all right this is still working Tom Bob and Pete. Okay, so I got all kinds of spaces. So all right, all right. Before we get fancy into what I'm going to show you, I should show you this one. Okay, uh, if anybody remembers, I said we were going to use uh, strip. So let's see what strip does. Right here. So and just remind minus. Okay, so it is strip. So help string dot strip. Okay. Return a copy of a string here. Oh, here we go. This is important. With leading and trailing white spaces removed. So all right. So if you have a user who's not paying attention to spaces, strip. So we're going to run this method, and then we're going to, let's see what we do. So, all right, let's see if this works. So Sam, then got Pete, and then Tom, and Bob. So he's got one before and after. Let's run that. And there we go. So this is a way to take infinite inputs, chop it up, and then also have it be perfect. So I was also, next time I got a good idea already, we're gonna go back and learn how to just capitalize the first letter. So all right, well thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this. Uh, we're gonna start getting a little bit more advanced into actual real world practices so don't forget to 
like the video, subscribe, and leave any comments below. Thanks, guys. See you next time.